A very good morning students, welcome you all to the maths class. So students, in our today's class, we are going to learn about long division matter of chapter 5 division. Alright, we will see the long division process of two digit number by a single digit number. Okay, so in our previous class we learned relationship between multiplication and division. There we learned about the multiplication fact and the division fact. Alright. Then we also learn how to do division using the number line. After that, we learn terms of division. What are the terms? We learn about dividend, divisor, quotient. Yes? Let us take one example of division. 27 divided by 3 equal to 9. Now this is what? This is a division fact. Okay, this is a division fact. So from, look at this division fact. Which one is dividend? Dividend is 27. The number which we divide, we are dividing 27 by 3. 27 is what? Dividend. Yes. Next is what? Divisor. So here which one is divisor? The number by which we divide. But we are going to divide 27 by which number? By 3. So 3 is divisor. When we divide 27 by 3. Yes, when we share equality, 27 among 3, then we take 3 students. 27 rupees among 3 students. Each one will get 9. So 9 is the answer. The answer in division we call it quotient. Quotient. Suppose you have 27 chocolates, 3 friends. You want to share it then equally. You want to share 27 chocolate equally among 3 friends. So each one will get how many chocolates? 9. Yes, so 9 is what? Quotient. The answer in addition we call it quotient. Now, write the multiplication fact for this division fact. 3 into 9 is equal to 27. 9 into 3 equal to 27. Let's this this is see here the relationship between division and the multiplication. So for this division fact, these are two multiplication fact. Okay. So three terms we learn dividend, divisor, quotient. Now we know which one is dividend, which one is divisor, which one is quotient. All right. One more term is there, that one I will introduce in today's class. Okay, we will learn on that. Also, we have learned about properties of division. Division by 1. When any number is divided by 1, we get the number itself as quotient. When any number is divided by 1, we get the number itself as a quotient. Dividing by dividing a number by itself. When, when any number is divided by itself, we get quotient as 1. We get quotient as 1. Or 1 as a quotient. Division by 0. Yes, division 0 by any non-zero number. We get quotient as 0. We cannot divide any number by 0. So these three properties we learn. Now let us understand today's concept that is long division matter. Okay. So I will take some examples. Division of two digit number by single digit number. Clear students? So let us start our today's topic. So I have taken two examples. I will show you. Divide 54 by 9. 
So here, which one is dividend? 54. Which one is divisor? 9. That means we are going to divide 54 by 9. So we use this symbol for division. Yes. Inside this we will write dividend outside 9. Now what we are going to see? How many times 9 goes on 54? Okay. How many times? So times multiplication. 9 into 6. So here we will write 6. 9 into 6, 54. Okay. Now, below 54 you write 9 into 6, 54. Then write your 54. Then write your minus 6. Yeah. Then you subtract this. We will get 0. Nothing left. So when we divide 54 by 9, Yes, quotient is 6. Quotient is 6. And nothing left. 54 is exactly divisible by 9. Yes, nothing left. Equally, when we divide 54 in, among 9, each one will get 6. So 6 is what? Let me write 6 is what? 6 is quotient. Quotient. 54 is what? Dividend. 9 is what? Divisor. So this division is what? This division, long division is long division of without remainder. No remainder. Nothing left. Nothing left. Next. Let us do the second number one. Divide 19 by 5. Which one is dividend? 90. This is the division symbol 90. Divisor is 5. That means we are going to divide 19 by 5. Now how many times 5 goes in 90? Yes. So 19 is not coming in the table of 5. So you have to find out a number less than this dividend or equal to dividend. But not more than dividend. Alright. 5, 3 times 50. 5, 3 times is 50. Now subtract it. 9 minus 5. 4. Yes. Now see here. Remainder is what... Uh, that means 19 is not exactly divisible by 5. Something is left. What is that? How much left? 4. 4 is left. Now we cannot divide 4 by 5 because 4 is less than 5. Alright. So, 4 is what? From this division, what we learn? What we have seen that? 19 is not exactly divisible by 5. We cannot divide equally 19 among 5. Members or in what you can students we can say. Alright. So when we divide 19 by 5 something is left. What is that? That is 4. 19 we cannot equally divide among 5. Alright. We got leftover. That leftover amount we call it remainder. We call it remainder. That is left. Okay. Another term of division. Already we learned quotient. Dividend divisor. Your quotient is 3. Dividend is 19. Divisor is 5. So, another one term we got that is remainder. That is remainder. So, the different terms. The terms of division are dividend, divisor, ocean, remainder. In this division, no remainder. 54 equally, we can divide among 9. 
each one will get 6, 6. 9 into 6, 54. But 19 is not divisible by 5. Remainder will be there. 4. So these are the terms. And these process we call it long division matter. Alright. I show you division of two digit number by a single division digit number in a long division process. In a long division process. Now, which one new term we got? After doing this process, we got one more new term that is about remainder. Okay? We got it what? Remainder. So, remainder is what? Sometimes what happened? Dividend is exactly not divided by the div divisor. Something left. Yes. So, there is some number is left over. Here see 4. That number, we call it what? The number that is left, we call it remainder. Now, look at this both division. Both, look both the division. This division, what we can say? Division without remainder. Here you see, we can say that division with remainder. Okay? And one more thing, children, you just remember this, the number left over in division is called the remainder. Okay? The remainder will always be less than the divisor. One more thing, you just remember. The remainder is always less than the divisor. If it is more than we can easily divide. But remainder is what is less than the divisor. That's why now we cannot divide 4 by 5. So 4 is left over. We call it remainder. Yeah, children. So this is what matter? Long division matter. Without remainder and with remainder. Let us do two more examples. Yes, as I introduced one new term, already we learned dividend, divisor, quotient, and we learned today about the concept of remainder. So this is remainder. These are the four terms. Clear children? So children, here I have taken one word problem. So let us solve. What is given? We need bought four pens for P76. If the cost of each pen is same, find the cost of one pen. Winnie, a girl, she bought how many pens? Four pens. Total four pens for a piece? 76. She paid 76 and bought four pens. Alright. Next line, what is given there in the question? If the cost of each pen is same, she bought four pens? Here it is given if the cost of each pair, the four pair, is same. Okay. Find the cost of one pair. Now what we have to find out the price of one pair. What is the price of one pair? That one we have to find out. We know how many pairs we need what? Four. By giving total amount 76. Alright, total price we know and the number of items that is 4. Now what we have to find out? Price of one pair. But the cost of each pair is same. Now how we are going to find out? By doing division. We will get the price of one pair. Alright, so 76 dividend. 4 is the divisor. We are going to divide 76 by 4. Alright, 76 is what total amount? Price of 4 pairs. So here 76 is what? Dividend. And 4 is what? Divisor. Now first we are going to find out what? Quotient. Or we will see any left or not. Now 
what we will see how many times four goes in 76 all right let us you have two digit number let's take seven you will take seven from the dividend we will divide first seven by four yes so four four times one four four into one four now subtract seven minus four is three yes now three is smaller than divisor so what we will do to make it bigger number we will bring down six okay now it's a big now it's a bigger number we can divide 36 by 4 yes next we will divide 36 4 into 9 36 4 times 9 is 36 now subtract it 36 minus 36 is 0 so question we got that is 90 all right so is there anything left nothing no remainder so by here we can find the cost of one pen what is the price of one pen price of one pen is 19 rupees now see here in a multiplication fact 4 into 19 is 76. The price of cost of one pen is 19 rupees. 19 plus 19, 4 times 19. I have shown you 4, times 4 into 19. That is total price of 4 pen is 76. Yes? 19 into 4, 76. See the relation between division and the multiplication. Yes, we got the cost of one pen. Therefore, the cost of one pen is rupees 90. Clear children? So this is how you have to, this is the long division method. Long division method. No remainder. Remainder is zero. Terms are what? Dividend, divisor, quotient. No remainder. Remainder is zero. Nothing left. Yeah? So price of one pen is 19 rupees. And the waiter question is given. We need bought four pens for rupees 76. If the cost of each pen, that means one pen is the same, each pen, four pen price is same. Alright, but what we have to find out? The cost of one pen. By doing division, long division method, we get the price of one pen is 90 rupees. So, through multiplication, we just see four pen each price is 19, total we get rupees 76. That means total we need get how much? Rupees 76. So I have shown you long division method of two digit number by a single digit number along with the terms. Alright. Three examples I have shown you. So children, kindly you all practice this long division method practice and also try to practice the terms which one what we call dividend, divisor, quotient, remainder. After that, try to complete exercise 5C. Yes, the sums are there where you have to do long division method and you have to write the quotient and also the remainder in theories. Clear children? So you all practice this. So next class we will continue with this long division method only. But division of a three digit number by Single digit number. Clear? So thank you.